Welcome students, this is an interesting question. We are expected to integrate integral dx over square root of 7 negative x squared. Now foremost I would rewrite this as integral dx over root of 7 raised to the power of 2 negative x squared. And root 7 squared is going to be 7. So there isn't any change that has been brought in. Now let me make the substitution. Now whenever you have a constant like this, your substitution to should be like this. x is equal to root of 7 times sin theta. This should be the way in which you take the substitution. So that is the reason I wrote 7 as root of 7 squared. Now if you were to differentiate this, this is going to be root of 7 times differential of sin theta is cos theta times d theta. So this is rewritten as in place of dx we substitute root of 7 times cos theta d theta divided by root of this place root of 7 squared negative in place of x it's going to be root of 7 times sine squared theta so this is squared there now this can be written as root of 7 times cos theta d theta divided by now root of 7 squared you can take that out that would give you one negative root of 7 squared is out so this is going to be sine squared theta but everything is present inside the square root. Now this is further rewritten as root of 7 times integral cos theta d theta divided by now if you were to bring root of 7 squared outside the square root function will remove the square so thereby you would get root of 7 right followed by square root of 1 negative sin square theta which is nothing but cos square theta so this 7 and this root 7 and root 7 will be cancelled giving you integral cos theta divided by root of cos square theta that would get cancelled this also will get cancelled giving you d theta and d theta uh, integration of d theta is theta now we need to extract what is theta now for that go back over here x is taken to be the root of 7 times sin theta so bring that root 7 down so you get x over root 7 is equal to sin theta we need theta so move this sign to the other side that means we get sine inverse of x over root 7 this is equal to theta right so therefore we can rewrite this as sine inverse of x over root of 7 positive arbitrary constancy so now we got an important result what is that integral dx over root of a squared negative x squared is equal to sine inverse of x over a positive arbitrary constancy. So any constant that you see here, if you are able to represent it in this fashion, then the formula would be sine inverse of x over that constant. So this is a very important result and we have successfully done this question. Thank you everybody. Enjoy your day.